Francis from the state government as to why extra staffing numbers are yet to be delivered to the Nowra fire station. The station is still relying on part-time crews to man the workload, months after extra staff were promised in the budget. The September budget had the promise of funding the 24-hour staffing of Nowra fire station the community so desperately needs eight months on. The community and firefighters are starting to ask questions. They are still waiting for the extra numbers to come on board. Fire and Rescue New South Wales told the union that staff will be assigned to Nowra once they graduate from the college in Sydney. Unfortunately, that's not helping the firefighters that are travelling long distances until this is done, and it's certainly not helping the community. Currently, permanent staff man the station during the day, and part-timers are called to respond to major incidents from their homes or businesses when the full-timers are between shifts. The state government promised to help both Nowra and Bathurst ease the burden on part-time crews in the state budget. Bathurst was very quickly upgraded to the extra staffing uh, later that year. Uh, Nowra is still not fulfilled. Member for South Coast Shelley Hancock made a pre-election promise to push the issue with the government and has always been supportive of the fiery. Win News contacted the local member several times today, however she was unable to comment. A spokesperson did say, however, that information on Nowra's fire station has been received this week. The union says time is running out for the government to deliver, or the issue causes serious trouble. I'm publicly calling for Shelley to give us an answer on this. Why isn't Nowra fire station uh, the extra staffing that it was announced last year? Uh, she needs to explain that to the firefighters, to the fire brigade union, and also to the community of Nowra. Paul Glover, Queen News. Well, the